What's up, Wayne Barron here with my vlog, and sorry about the noise in the background, that is actually the AC, and it is right warm out here today. We are, in fact, working on my 1983 Ranger. The ignition switch, I'm not sure if it's going out or if it's the wiring. So basically, whenever I turn the ignition, it doesn't do anything, and then I come out and I can jump off the solenoid, and it starts. So I know that the solenoid's good, I know that the starter's good. So it's either the ignition switch or it's the wiring between them. And, uh, however, uh, instead of going out and spending that money, I'm just going to go ahead and add in a starter switch, a push button switch, inside of the cab of the truck. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so what we got going on here is that we have the wires going in right beside our wires for switching this off. So we got the wires going into the firewall, and we got enough wire right here to come over here to connect up to the solenoid over here. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go inside the cab of the truck and we're going to connect uh, the wires up to the switch and attach it to the inside of the cab. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're going to drill right here. And we're using a universal drill bit, as you can see right there. And the uh, toggle switch that we got is right here. So let me bring this up so we can actually see it. So that's our toggle switch. Go ahead and get it open and get it out so we can figure out which size that we need. And so we need to go in to, I'd say probably about my fifth run right there. Which this works a lot better if you got something to mark it with. Which I don't think I've got anything here. Let's see if that one will work. Bingo. So, all right. So now what we gotta do. So we got to connect our wires up to our toggle switch and then we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and get the wire and pull it through here. Okay, my wire got stuck so I had to go out there and bring it in. So let's go ahead and get our wire stripped here. Okay, so let's go ahead and oh, get this unscrewed and uh, try not to move the camera while I'm doing this. It's really difficult to do. So you want to put these on before you try to uh, attach it to the to the truck. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this off. Then we're going to put this in up underneath here. I'm going to make sure there's nothing back here that's going to get on the wires. Everything seems to be good there.
All right, so that's got that attached. All my wires look good. So I'm gonna pull it through a little bit or attach that up yonder with a tie strap. So I'll do that after a while. So let's go ahead and finish it up outside. Okay, we're gonna finish this up. So we need to connect one to here, one to there. So uh, these are our wires. Gonna bring them. So okay. Let's go ahead and grip our wire here. And then So, um, I had to uh, stretch these out because these were the only ones that I had. Let's go ahead and get that on there. Okay, we're going to finish this thing up. So we need to All right, so we're just going to run this over here like so. Put it on there. Okay, let's get this one off. Okay, so we got that done. So we got, let's go ahead and get that put up underneath there. And uh, all right, so it's not trying to start on its own, so that's good. so we got that so I should be able to go inside turn the ignition and it should run okay well I should be able to go inside put the ignition in and turn it but not crank it and then be able to hit the push button so let's go ahead and try that out okay so let's go ahead and try it turn the ignition master button <laughs> very 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 nice so now we don't have to worry about the truck not wanting to crank for us when this doesn't want to work okay well as you can see we got it running and uh, I'm gonna have to pack this thing in because we got uh, a storm out on our coast that's coming in and uh, it's way way far away from us it's supposed to be hit later on this evening but we're supposed to be getting some rain stuff from but we are getting some clouds coming in so uh, I think we are gonna get some rain tonight so I'm gonna get all this closed up and uh, thanks a lot for watching and keep an eye out on further videos of working on this and hopefully one day working on that so all right i am wayne baron this is my vlog that's my firebird and my ranger and then on the other side over there is a 2001 ford torse that i want to blow up y'all have a good one take care of yourselves bye bye